Hi everyone, welcome to another special recorded Zazzle Chat. This will be just a quick one as we wanted to follow up a little bit on our beta of the new storefronts and profiles and also let you in on a new addition that you'll be seeing once that goes live. We're actually going to be for the first time giving you a little more information that's direct feedback on how your store is doing on Zazzle. So speaking of the beta, thank you so much to everyone who's tried it out, to everyone who has sent us feedback, questions, reported things that maybe weren't working out so that we can get those fixed up. As you can see, I'm back again with Tony today. And speaking of our storefronts and profiles, they're coming soon. When will all of our designers be seeing this beta actually live on the site? Yeah, so it's great to be back. Um, thanks for having me back on. Um, so the beta will be going live next Thursday, September 3rd. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, we're really, uh, again, we really appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving us. Um, but next Thursday is when it will be going live. Great. So if you haven't already, please log in, take a look at the beta, make sure that all of that new features of the storefronts and the profiles look good to you so that when that is publicly available to everyone, it looks exactly how you want it already. So in the launch of our new storefronts and profiles, we're actually going to be including another piece of information in those new profiles that our designers will be seeing when it goes live. Can you tell us what that new feature in the storefronts that our designers will be seeing is? So we're adding a new feature called Z-Rank. And what Z-Rank is, um, it's, a, it's a metric that will allow you to um, get feedback um, and at a glance be able to tell how well your store is doing on Zazzle how well it's optimized, how well the products within your store are optimized uh, for success on our platform. So when the new storefronts and profiles are launched and we have this new metric, where can I see my Z-Rank and what will it look like? So you'll, you'll be able to see your Z-Rank uh, right above the store completion metric on your, um, on your home tab within your store. Um, it's a number between 1 and 10. The closer to 10, the better. Um, and also, if you, uh, if you actually just click on the Z-Rank word itself, it'll pop up a little informational dialogue that'll give you a bunch of information um, regarding best practices um, and guidelines that, um, that you can follow to improve your Z-Rank. So, as far as this number that I'm going to see, is it something that is going to affect how and where my products appear on Zazzle in our public marketplace? So this is something that will have an effect on your marketplace search results. However, that will not take effect um, immediately. Um, we're giving you guys a chance to kind of go through, um, take a look at the guidelines, make sure your store is aligned with those guidelines and best practices. Um, but we will be taking this into account within the near future. So when our new storefronts and profiles launch and I go onto my store's home tab and see my Z-Rank and I'm not quite happy with it, what are the different things that I can do to improve my Z-Rank? So we've come up with a number of best practices and guidelines uh, for you to follow to help you in improving your store's Z-Rank. Um, you can find these simply by clicking on the Z-Rank label in your store home tab. Um, to go through a couple of them now, one of the most important things is to make sure that you're publishing unique, well thought out designs on relevant products. Um, another thing is to make sure that you're using uh, our technology for the different customization options that we allow for our users. Um, a second thing to do is make sure you avoid any sort of duplicate content um, within the metadata of your products. Things like your product's description, its title, um, any tags that you're using. Make sure those are unique for each of the products that you're publishing. Um, the other thing to do is uh, review the pop, uh, all the different uh, products that you have. Um, if they aren't working, if they aren't selling or being viewed as much as you'd like, um, either delete them or, um, or make them invisible. Um, if, if there are products that you feel really passionate about, um, take another run at the, uh, uh, the product's metadata. Uh, make sure that is fully flushed out and exactly what you want it to be. Um, and obviously then you can promote them. You know, a, a great way to, to kickstart products that are new or that you haven't, uh, that haven't been up in your store for a while is to really promote them. Um, another really easy thing to do is to um, make the most of our new storefronts. Um, you know, we spent a lot of time tweaking them and upgrading them and really sort of giving you guys the tools um, to, to make that a rich and engaging experience for customers visiting your store. So uh, an easy way to do that is simply go into your store home tab on the right hand side, you'll see the store completion tasks. Make sure you've got that at 100% and that'll definitely um, kickstart and you know, improve your, your Z rank. Um, the final thing that I just want to mention is um, promoting your products. That is really an important part um, of uh, making sure your products are successful on Zazzle. So if they're either not selling as well as you'd like, uh, or if they're brand new products, 
really make sure that you're promoting them to um, the, the world at large, you know, whether that's through your social networks, whether that's through um, different blogs or external sites that you have, uh, you know, really make sure that you're selling um, and sharing those products uh, with the world. If I'm a designer, you know, I find a lot of our designers, they're wonderful artists and have a little trouble doing that real promotion part. So we want to give our designers more tips on how to promote well and really show off their beautiful designs. So where can I find tips to promote my products and get them seen? So um, as I mentioned earlier, if you actually click on the Z-Rank um, text itself, uh, you'll be taken to a dialogue that will actually have all our best practices and guidelines. Um, within there, there will be links um, to different articles and uh, our designer handbook and SEO handbook that will really um, give you all the information that you need in a step-by-step -step fashion to, to really sort of promote your products and get them out there. So as far as this number that's giving me feedback on my store, is this something that other people can see? Z-Rank is um, private to you. You're the only person who can see it. Um, it, is something, it is a score that is calculated on a store-by-store -store basis. So if you have several different stores, you'll have different Z-Rank scores for each of those stores. Um, but it is completely private and it, is, um, it doesn't take into account any other designers or any other stores. It's, it's purely um, between you and your store. So my Z-Rank is not a rank of me compared to any other designer? Correct. Does my Z-Rank have anything to do with my lifetime earnings on Zazzle or my pro designer status? Uh, it does not. So there is no correlation between the amount of earnings or revenue you have generated in the past, nor is Z-Rank an indication of any revenue or earnings you might um, generate in the future. Uh, that being said, it's the best way to get feedback on how well your store is doing, how well the products inside your store are optimized, um, and it really is uh, a great place to start to make sure that you're in a position for um, success on Zazzle. Thank you so much for letting us know about Z-Rank and for all of your hard work on our new storefronts and profiles. To everyone who hasn't been able to take a look yet, please do. Uh, please check out the beta. Make sure that your storefronts and profiles are looking exactly how you want them. So when they do go live for everyone next week, you're all set to go. Feel free to still send us any feedback, questions, things like that through that link that you'll see in the banner on your beta. And let us know what you think about your Z-Rank. Thanks so much.